Hi, Mary. This is John. I am the interviewer for today. I hear that you have some problems that you would like to share with us. What are they about? So,、um, my name is Mary. I'm with my lovely daughter Mia. My major concern for now is about the safety of my daughter, since I heard about some sad news recently. Some students got into accident as they do not have enough protection while going to school or even on their way home. I'm so afraid of that. I wish. That kind of thing would never happen to everyone, except especially when I went when I want to ensure my daughter's safety. I love my daughter. Yes, I always get nervous when I'm waiting for the bus, school bus, because I don't know if the bus has already passed or is on its way to me. I was willing to see my mom take me to school, but every, but sadly she's really busy at work. Oh, that's really sad. But I'm glad to hear that you really love your daughter, and I wish everything would go well. And here's a great idea that I came up with. Recently, we have developed an application that may help you. It's called Safety School. So, as for the student view, we are very confused when the bus will arrive. We don't know the actual time, bus arrive time. School school manager there that gives us a solution about the software called the for the safety school. This application is very cool. That contains the computer for the school bus and students. It also can call the boring time on the bus by play some activities on this application. When we open this application, so for the for the application clicked, it will give us a login page. As for the login page, it will load in first and then press for the student ID and the student password. Student ID is very initial. That the school give gives each student a unique. ID and then they just need to input their student ID and student password, and then click the login. It will loading again and then feedback for the login successful. So this this function is to talk about the personal information check. As for this part, as for the new new user, the new user will request you fill in the their personal data, which means the name, ID, QR code, address. This is very initial for the. It's very important for the school to check it, and then you can change the address. When you change the address, please、uh, input the new address. And after you put the new address, it means update. And first, you do you want to do that? Are you sure? And after you sure, the database will be updated, and then school will be update the data as fast as possible for the ensure the student、uh, compute. So this function is called attendance. Attendance means that、uh, the extra function for the application. As for this application, it requires the student to log in and then check the check the get on the bus button. And for this function, that the school knows that you are get on the school bus. This is very important that to count the student who not go through the school bus. And for the time management part, it has a label that absent if student absent in one day on the date calendar, calendar, and they need to give the reason for the school why they are not. So for this part, student activity part. For student activity part means that student can join some activity and watch some activity on their device during the community community times. As for the community, as for community part, they can check the school activities and then cho choose some activities for join. This is very good for the student who is new to go to school. They are new; they don't have friend. They can use this to find、uh, some friend who had the same hobby and then kill the boring time. Same kill the boring time on the school bus. Talking about map and history part. First, we're talking about the map part. Map part about the commute is、uh, that the student will know which bus they choose and、uh, how many times after they can arrive home and the student and the driver name and the teacher name. When they're going to click it again, it will show the temperature. It's raining or some. Something, something else. As for goes to the, it, it's all about the GPS and goes to the history part. History part is display some detail about the commute, about some details. Students can show this data to their parents and let them do not very feel nervous about when they go get on the bus. So for the communication part, is is very important for the new student. New student do not have friend. They can use this to add friends at the school bus. They only need to open their QR code and uh, extend uh, their camera to aim the QR code scanning. Then they can add friends. When they add friends, they can 
that message and do something else, but uh, there's another part. That when they get on the school bus, the teacher will request them to add their friends. The teacher will dis display some details about this bus, like the when it arrive, the school bus number, something else like that. There are three types of communications. The first part is the keyboard input, the second part is voice input, the third part is emojis. So the last function is to talk about the warning. The warning is very simple that uh, when the student feel dangerous or have some some emergency situation on the school bus, on the school bus they can click the top, they can click the, the red icon on the top of the screen. It, it will auto call the 000, which means the emergency center, and it will also give the hint that said that this uh, this action is very dangerous. Do not be kidding this part. So as well as we learn in this assignment is uh, three main parts with the two escapes. The first is user experiences describe about uh, emotion and the environment, how that uh, influence users. And for second escape, third escape. And for fourth, it means the user usability, how they achieve their goal with high efficiency. And for last is the great equation that the great design idea equals those uh, uppers sum up together.